Hello, this is Ben Hollifield with a quick update on the TableSaw app for ServiceNow. Uh, we just released TableSaw about a week or two ago for ServiceNow, and we have a demo video out for that on YouTube as well. So if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go check it out first to see what TableSaw does. Um, what I want to show you here are some new features we added. We very quickly found some new things we could put into TableSaw, some new capabilities that would make it much more powerful. And so I want to show those to you. So this instance already has TableSaw installed, so we can go directly over here to Table Views. And we've included a new sample table view, this user directory, to highlight some of these new features. Now if we dig in, we can show you what some of these are. Now initially with table saw, each table view only had access to data on the base table for that table view, and you specify which fields you wanted to display. We understood that could be a little bit limiting because there are often related lists or related data you want to also include. So we've now added this additional fields related list at bottom here. And all this says is a server-side script that allows you to go out, fetch some new data, and add it to the, um, the little JSON bundle of data we shipped onto the client. So this gives you the opportunity to include whatever information you want to in your table views for each record, um, even if it's not on the table itself. Something else we realize is that sometimes you need to, need to have access to something like a detailed view. Um, table saw will give you a list of, of records, but sometimes you want to click into that record and get a, a detailed view of the record. So we've now also enabled this detail view, and all this really is, is a second data gathering process. The initial is the initial table view, and then you can trigger a second data gathering process to go out and get some more specific data on the record you click that you can then present in a modal view, um, in, in whatever method you want to on your page according to how your renderer is set up. And finally, because we're using Angular JavaScript to handle the data binding in table saw, it gives us the capabilities to refresh our data in near real time without forcing a refresh of the actual web page. So what we're doing is we're giving you now an option to auto refresh the page at whatever frequency you choose. And table saw will go out and refresh all the data for your table view and represent it on the screen without actually refreshing the page itself. So it gives it a very dynamic, um, very quick, fresh feel to the table view. So let's just go ahead and show you what this looks like. If we test this table view, we'll see the user directory. And we've reformatted this a bit just to give you a, another idea of, of what these table views can look like. This is like a, a card view for a user directory. And in addition, we've also added some animation capabilities to table saw so that as we come in and, and start typing, um, we'll get a nice little fade in, fade out view for this new card. And so it's a basic card, and this is the basic table view information for this user. Um, but if we click in now, we'll first of all see this second data gathering process as it brings up a modal view with some detail about me. And this detail is, um, includes the initial data, but then it also includes some additional data, like number of open tasks, that doesn't actually exist on the sys user table. So this is showing both the detail view capability and the additional fields capability where we're calculating number of open incidents, number of open requested items, and number of open change requests. And now to show you how the data binding works and this new auto refresh works, I can pop over to another instance, the same instance, out of frame, another browser. And if you watch the number of open incidents, as I reassign um, new incidents to myself, you'll see that this number will in real time change. And I can also pop that back down and, and remove one of those and it'll, it'll go down. And so the number, the, the data on this screen is all totally dynamic. And so anytime something changes, you can change it on the screen. And this not only applies to like strings and numbers um, and text on the screen, you could also apply this same information to power charts and graphs um, if you if you were web savvy enough to, to implement those. So that's about it. Those are the new capabilities. We think this makes this into much more than just a kind of a list view generator. This is now almost a, a dashboarding tool that you could use to present real-time data to your users. Um, very powerful. Uh, we've only scratched the surface of what you can do with these two sample table views, but we're really excited to, um, to see more rich user interfaces come out of this. Thanks a lot.